This video is sponsored by Revolution iStore, the one-stop online gadget accessory solution. You can find cases for your Apple, Samsung or BlackBerry devices. Remember to use code AVORA10 to save 10% off your total purchase. Yo, what's up guys and girls? It's me, I'm Kwan, your favorite geek here with Avora TV. Peace and blessings to you all out there. Hope you guys are well. And we're looking at the new iPad. Now, no doubt many of you have purchased the new iPad and you're probably playing around with it, wondering uh, after the honeymoon period, what kind of apps you can use for this device. Well, in this video, that's what we're gonna have a look at. I'm gonna share with you what I've got on my iPad. These are the top apps that I'm currently using and I'm gonna be sharing those with you. So there's a range of really awesome apps, but one of the apps that are missing from the iPad is a good calculator app. And this app I managed to find online. It's really, really simple, sweet. It's called Jumbo and it's a free app to download. It's your solution for a calculator. If you're looking for one, there's no ads in this. There's none of the kind of, you know, different skins and this, that, the other. It's just a simple, what you see is what you get. Really awesome calculator app for the iPad. Now the next app we're going to be looking at is Pulse Reader. Pulse Reader is a really good app that will allow you to get all the feeds. If there's blogs that you read uh, on a whole range of different sort of subjects, you can get them all in one place. Um, really functional to use and very, very beautiful uh, to, to, to use as well. And um, I know there are alternatives out there, things like Flipboard, which do a really good job. But something like Pulse, uh, in my opinion, has a really clean UI, it, it just makes it easy to read and more importantly uh, with Pulse is a sharing option. Simply with uh, with one touch you can actually share those articles then uh, across Twitter, across fa Facebook and, 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 and sort of basically share information and, and articles that you may come across. So definitely worth picking up uh, considering it's free also. Now for Twitter addicts, Tweetbot. Tweetbot in my opinion on the iPad is really the bomb. I mean Twitter has their official app which is very good uh, but Tweetbot for iPad it's not a bank breaker it's only $1.99 but the additional $1.99 that you pay for Tweetbot is going to give you functionality, it's going to give you really clean, really usable UI and the company behind this um, is a really good company that sort of sends out updates on a regular basis they listen to um, sort of feedback from users, they listen to, to sort of criticisms and in my opinion this is a company and an app really that is moving forward and, and definitely one if you're a Twitter fan, definitely worth getting. The next app is going to be a productivity app. This is something called Things. It, Things is a get things done a specific app. In, in layman terms it's basically a, a specialized to-do list and it's slightly pricey at $13.99 but in my opinion uh, get things done uh, it needs to be done in the right way and in that, there's a bunch of apps out there but things is on par and on on the level that's needed for those people that are going to follow that format now they have a Mac app they have an iPhone app and the bundle overall can be quite pricey but if you're into GTD and if you're into getting it done in the right way, then this is definitely one of the apps to consider. Even on its own, the $13.99 app is, is well worth it. Now the next app is another productivity app, Office HD. We know that Apple has released um, the official pages, Keynote and Numbers, but Office HD is the cheaper alternative and actually, in my opinion, the, the better alternative. You get access to workbooks, so you can have sort of Word documents, you can have Excel files, and all of that for uh, for a basically five forty nine, which is an awesome awesome price. iMovie. Now, if you love producing videos, particularly now that the camera on the back of the iPad has been improved to that five megapixel camera, then iMovie is definitely worth the download. Um, it's not very expensive, and in terms of what you can create with that and with the camera, it's a really really good option. Now, in my experience with this, what I've been using lately is the iPad camera connection kit because that means I can take video on the DSLR, import that into the iPad and then actually edit that really quickly on the new iPad and with that enhanced processor it's a really excellent option if you're going to produce video on, on the iPad. So that's it guys, a very quick look at some of the top apps in my opinion. Let us know if there's any others that you would recommend and we'll see you in the next video.